So I've decided today is the day that I go around Carlisle, take a bunch of photos and show you around my home city. So um, it's coming up to sunrise now and I'm heading down to, there's three rivers in Carlisle and close to my flat it's like a small waterfall so I'm heading there as my first spot for sunrise um, to be perfectly honest I don't expect to get any real good photos here because it's not that interesting a place so apologies I'm starting the day in not the most interesting place in the world but I wanted to come here and photograph uh, not just because it's close to my flat so it's nice and convenient uh, for getting here in time for sunrise but uh, one thing I like about photography is the challenge uh, especially the kind of photography I do I don't like studio work for example where everything's set up and designed for you and you have full control and then you just all you have to do is click the shutter I like the challenge of trying to create photographs from things that you can't control so you can't control the weather for example so that challenge of trying to create a nice image from things outside of your control all you have is your tools with the camera and so because I enjoy that challenge um, I kind of wanted the challenge of trying to get a good photo from somewhere that isn't the world's most interesting place, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm at the little waterfall now, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So the waterfall itself is, is quite nice, but it's just uh, everything around it isn't very nice. Um, so that's why I don't really expect to get a good photo. But uh, other thing, talking about the challenges of the weather and things, it's pretty cloudy. It's very cloudy, in fact, so it's not going to be a nice sunrise either. Um, But yeah, I'm going to set up anyway and see what I can get. So here I am set up, the other side of this railing. And I've got my polarizer on, just to take off some of the glare of the water. And I've got my little stopper on, just to slow down the exposure. Um, I haven't put a graduated filter on, because it is cloudy. There's no need for a graduated filter, unfortunately. No sunrise, no nice sunrise. So, ready to take a shot. Another reason why I wanted to take a photo here was, I remember when I first just got into photography, first got a camera, and I joined Flickr, and joined some of the photography groups, in and, around, in and around Carlisle on Flickr and I remember seeing a photograph taken from here which at the time I thought was brilliant and I thought oh, I'll never be able to take a photo as good as that I wish I could take a photo as good as that and now that I've been doing photography some, for some time and I've obviously improved quite a bit in that time I'm pretty sure I can get a photo like that now so that's what I'm trying to do We'll go for F8, two minutes. Okay, so I've moved down now to the bottom of the waterfall, just to try out a different composition. It's always good to try out different compositions, try and get a variety of shots. Uh, so I've got the same setup polarizer a uh, little stopper and I think even though before I started photographing here I said it's not the best location I'm still having a lot of fun uh, just 
trying to get a good image and uh, just experimenting and it's just really good practice as well uh, just to train your eye practice composition looking for a good shot so I think wherever you live even if you think it's not the prettiest place in the world it's always good to get out and practice and just train your eye and I'm having a lot of fun just you know looking for the perfect composition so what I'm going for here is the waterfall in the foreground and then you've got that block of flats on the right hand side and then the trees opposite it on the left pretty simple composition and it is pretty dull unfortunately I do think there's potential here as well actually I think given the right time of year when the trees and the bushes are looking a bit more alive and a bit more colourful and on a nicer day when the light's nicer not as cloudy I definitely think there's potential here for a nice image so I might have criticised it to begin with but there you go you see if you just get out and try sometimes you surprise yourself so perhaps I'll return to this in, in the future but anyway I think I've got as good as I'm going to get for the time being and there's plenty more places to visit so I'm going to head home first of all get a shower get some breakfast and then we'll head out and view some more places. Oh yes! Right, so I'm on top of the Millennium Bridge now. Uh, behind me is the Castle. Um, fortunately, it's turned out to be such a bad day. It's not even worth taking any photos. So this, this video isn't going to turn out how, as I hoped it would. Uh, but. I'll just show you some of the sites anyway. But I was actually here last night as well photographing the moon over this site. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that. Uh, but if not, I'll slot that in now. Just been out for a run and I noticed that the moon is still looking very impressive. So I'm going to quickly head out now and see if I can get any good photos. So this was taken on Carlisle's Millennium Bridge and ideally I would have liked the bridge, the castle and the moon all in shot but it was quite a difficult composition to get because I couldn't get wide enough to get it all. See I tried here but unfortunately the elevator there to the bridge just blocks out most of the castle and that is very very ugly. That pole is ugly so I don't like that one. And here again, these poles just sticking out just look weird, especially if you don't know Carlisle and don't know that bridge, they just look weird, so they're not good. Uh, so I think this is probably about the best one I got, I think. Is this the last time I can see you in a while? Is it the truth that you believe in tonight? Take a walk down a swim in the sea That would mean everything, yeah, everything to me Can we get out of this one? Waiting and missing I never thought you would leave me here We can get out of this one A tunnel of feelings just like we got through everything else But I see you Honey This is in no way Funny We will find our way We back together But right now There's stormy weather well, I'm back in my flat now and unfortunately today and this video hasn't gone as quite as I had hoped. I originally hoped to spend quite a bit of time in each different location talking about it, setting up my tripod, hopefully getting my filters out, going through my setup. But unfortunately, it's just been another dull overcast day. It just wasn't worthwhile doing that. But today wasn't necessarily about getting great photos anyway. Um, I live here now so I've got plenty of time to do that. It was more just to kind of show you some of the sites that are in Carlisle, some of the places that there is to photograph, uh, just give you a bit of a feel for the place more than anything. And to be fair in that regard, I think I've probably given you a very good feel for what Carlisle is like. 
it's cold, wet and miserable for the most part. Um, yeah, like I said, when I initially said I wanted to do this video, I was having to wait until the weather got better, which I thought was going to be today, but it's been typical Cumbrian weather. So, so yeah, apologies. It hasn't gone quite as well as I had hoped, but as I said, as I do live here now, there will be plenty of opportunities to photograph those different locations um when the weather does get better don't forget as well i also show a lot more on my instagram stories so be sure to follow me on instagram as well so you can see more of my photography more of my day-to-day -day on that as well uh, but other than that if you have made it to this point and you are still watching then i applaud you and i thank you so yeah thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you again soon Bye.